This is the 2024 Honda CRV 1.5 Turbo EXL, and in this video, we'll take a look at it inside and out. My name is Joko, and welcome to Urban Auto Adventures. Before we continue with the video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below. It would really help out the channel a lot, and it would encourage me to create more videos. Now back to the CRV right here. Starting off with our hood design, we have our simple yet elegant hood design leading towards the front here towards our LED headlights with our LED daylight running lights. As you can see, we have a chrome trim going from one side to the other, which also gives it a kind of a sportish look as well. We have a very sportish and very nice design of our front grille with the Honda emblem right here in the center. On our front bumper, we have proximity sensors as well as a very sportish uh, front spoiler. And thank you to Honda here at Honda of Juliet for lending me one of their vehicles so I can do a walk around video. I'll put a link to their website down in the description if you want to check them out. Now back to the video. The 2024 Honda CR-V EXL is 185 inches long, 74 inches wide, 67 inches tall, and has a ground clearance of 7.8 inches. Looking at it from this side and from these dimensions, we can tell that this is actually a perfectly sized vehicle for a family of four, and maybe adequately sized for a family of five. Now starting off with our wheels, we have 18 inch alloy wheels in the front and in the back, with disc brakes in the front and in the back. We have a black trim on the lower part of the car to give it a little bit of a off-road style. Two-tone color design of our rear view mirrors, which have blind spot detection, as well as a LED turn signal here on the outside. Our door handles are the same color as our body. And last but not least, we have high gloss chrome trim around the windows. Now moving towards the back of the vehicle, we can actually see the signature Honda CRV design that we also saw in the previous 2023 model. Now starting off at our top here, we have a sportish uh, spoiler here on top protruding a little bit above our trunk space with an LED brake light right here. Next we have a big rear view window with our rear window wiper. Right below that we have an all wheel drive sticker. Below that we have our Honda emblem as well as a backup camera here underneath. The CRV emblem right here, signature CRV taillight designs which are also LED, proximity sensors on our rear bumper and as you can tell we have a simplistic approach to the rear bumper design. To open up the trunk space all you do is you push on the rubberized button right below the Honda emblem right here and as you can see we have a automatic lift gate which is very convenient. The trunk space that you get with the Honda CRV is actually pretty good you know even with and in height. It's more than enough for your daily groceries and even for longer trips with the family. You do get a little bit of extra storage here on the sides of the trunk and you also get hooks on the driver and the passenger side if you want to hang something. In addition to that, you get a 12 volt outlet right here as well as two lights here to illuminate the space here in the back. Now, if this space is not enough, you do get a little bit of extra storage right below the liner and this is where you can find your spare tire and you get a little bit of room around the spare tire if you want to store any additional tools or any smaller items. If this is not enough, what you can also do is you can lower the seats. We have a 60-40 split of our back seats, meaning that you can separately put down the driver's seats and the passenger seat on this side. All you do is you just go from this side, pull on the lever right here to unlatch it, do the same. And now this opens up even more room for, you know, longer and bigger items. If you want to put everything back in its original position, simple. All you do is you go around, lift it up in its place, pull the lever so it can latch. Make sure that it has latched. Do the same thing. And if you want to close the trunk space, all you do is you push the button and we have our automatic lift gate close it for you. Nice. This 2024 Honda CRV packs a tiny 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that combined with the continuous variable transmission as well as the all wheel drive puts out 190 horsepower or 179 pound feet of torque. Now what you also want to know is where you put your windshield washer fluid and it's to the side over there away from the engine bay compartment so you don't spill any windshield washer fluid all over the engine. Nice. 
Sitting inside the 2024 Honda CRV, you are actually greeted with the classic Honda CRV style and design. Uh, Honda have a very simplistic approach to their interior design of their vehicles, but simplistic doesn't always mean bad. And in this case, it's actually a perfect blend between elegance and ruggedness or all terrainness, if you may. We have very nice uh, leather here on our seats. We also have a soft rubber on our dashboard. We have this high gloss grand piano piano style trim on our dashboard here on our doors and we also have this honeycomb texture on our dashboard as well as well as the honeycomb netting on our vents in addition to that with the exl package you also get the leather wrapped uh, gear selector here as well as other safety and convenience features so without further ado let's just jump right into them Starting off with our passenger side, you get a fairly shallow glove box compartment that, you know, once you put your owner's manual, may fit probably a pair of sunglasses. Next, we have our grand piano style uh, trim here on our dashboard with the honeycomb texture. The infotainment system is a nine inch color touchscreen display, which features wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Right below that, we have our climate control unit, which is partially analog buttons, physical buttons, as well as a digital screen to indicate our temperature adjustments. Right below that, we have a little bit of say storage uh, compartment right here with wireless phone charging, as well as a USB and a USB-C charging port and a 12 volt outlet right here. Moving further down, we have our drive mode selector as well as our engine auto start and stop, hill descent assist, electronic parking brake and our gear selector right here in the center. Two cup holders as well as a little bit of more storage leading to our armrest. Our armrest features this small tray actually for a little bit of storage, uh, I guess a few business cards or whatnot, and this deeper compartment here for even more storage. If you want even more storage, you get also a couple of uh, bottle holders here inside the door, which, you know, and a small compartment right here, which offer a little bit extra storage in the CRV. For our driver, we get a partially analog and partially digital instrument cluster. We get this leather wrapped steering wheel with a ton of safety and convenience feature buttons here on the front. This is where you can control some of the features on the info of the infotainment system, as well as some of your other safety convenience features such as your adaptive cruise control lane keep assist as well as the highway driving assist your light control module is this lever here behind the steering wheel and you have additional two buttons here where you can open up the trunk space as well as your traction control moving on to our seats we have these very nice soft leather perforated uh, seats which are also heated we have four-way power adjustment in the passenger seat 10-way power adjustment in the driver's seat. You also get two-way power lumbar in the driver, as well as a memory for up to two people for the driver, no memory for the passenger. LED lights on the interior of the CRV. Last but not least, you also get this manual sunshade here with a tilted and sliding moonroof. Nice. Sitting inside the back seat of the Honda CRV, it's not as exciting as it is as sitting in the front seats, but you still get a few amenities here and there. You still get the nice grand piano trim here on the doors that we got on the front with the honeycomb texture here as well. And you also get these nice soft leather perforated seats. Now, when it comes to storage, you get a little bit of storage inside the door in the form of these bottle compartments and a smaller compartment here in the handle, as well as a pocket behind the passenger seat. Your center console features the vents for your climate control. And right below them, you have two USB-C charging ports. Now, if you want even more comfort, what you can do is you can pull down the armrest, have an armrest and additional two cup holders. One thing that I also like about the back seats here is that you can adjust the incline of the back seat. If you pull the lever, you can actually recline it all the way back and you can have this very nice and comfortable napping position if you want. And this concludes our video for today. Thank you for watching this far. Make sure that you hit the like, share, subscribe button down below if you don't want to miss any future video updates. If you want to see more amazing car videos, hit the thumbnail right there. I'll see you in our next one. Cheers.